If you're a woman and you have periods, I need to ask you something. Have you ever wondered if what you've been told about your menstrual cycle is actually true? Or perhaps you've worried in private about symptoms that seem normal but feel completely wrong? If so, you are far from alone. This is a topic surrounded by centuries of myths, cultural taboos, and a shocking lack of clear, reliable information. This is one of the most natural yet misunderstood processes in a woman's body. And after reviewing the latest medical research, it's easy to see why there's so much confusion. Studies show that while nearly every woman experiences menstruation for decades of her life, many are living with misconceptions that could be affecting their health, their relationships, and even their career choices. So that's why today we're going to have an honest, science-based conversation. I'm going to walk you through 10 dangerous period myths that need to be debunked immediately, and then, crucially, 10 important truths about your menstrual cycle that every woman should know to ensure optimal reproductive health. Let's start by destroying these harmful myths first. 10 dangerous period myths. Myth number one, period pain is always normal and you should just endure it. Severe period pain that disrupts your daily life is not normal. While mild cramping is common, debilitating pain could indicate conditions like endometriosis or ovarian cysts. If you're missing work or school because of period pain, you need medical evaluation, not just more painkillers. Myth number two, you can't get pregnant during your period. This is dangerously false. Sperm can survive in your body for up to five days. And if you have a shorter cycle, you could ovulate shortly after your period ends. Unprotected sex during menstruation can absolutely result in pregnancy. Myth number three, period blood is dirty or toxic. Menstrual blood is simply blood mixed with vaginal secretions and endometrial tissue. It's no more dirty than any other blood in your body. This myth has caused unnecessary shame and dangerous practices in many cultures. Myth number four, you shouldn't exercise during your period. Exercise can actually reduce period symptoms. Light to moderate exercise increases blood flow, releases endorphins, and can significantly reduce cramping and mood symptoms. Unless you have a specific medical condition, there's no reason to avoid physical activity. Myth number five, periods should always be exactly 28 days. A normal cycle can range from 21 to 35 days. What matters is consistency for you. If your cycle suddenly changes significantly or becomes extremely irregular, that's when you should be concerned. Myth number six, you lose a lot of blood during your period. The average woman loses only about 30 to 40 milliliters of blood during her entire cycle. That's roughly two to three tablespoons. The rest is endometrial tissue and vaginal secretions. Myth number seven, PMS is all in your head. Premenstrual syndrome is a real medical condition caused by hormonal fluctuations. Up to 85% of women experience some PMS symptoms. Severe PMS that significantly impacts your life might be PMDD, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which requires medical attention. Myth number eight. You can't use tampons if you're a virgin. Virginity is not determined by an intact hymen. The hymen is a thin membrane that can be stretched by many activities, including exercise, tampon use, or even normal physical activity. Using tampons has nothing to do with virginity. Myth number nine, periods sync up when women live together. Multiple studies have debunked this popular belief. What seems like sinking is usually just the mathematical probability of cycles occasionally overlapping when women live in close proximity. Myth number 10, you should avoid certain foods during your period. There are no foods you need to avoid during menstruation. In fact, your body needs extra iron and nutrients during this time. Chocolate cravings, that's your body seeking magnesium, which can help with cramping. Now that we've cleared up these dangerous misconceptions, let's talk about what you should know about your menstrual cycle, information that can actually improve your health and well-being. 10 important truths. Truth number one, your period is a vital sign. Your menstrual cycle provides important information about your overall health. Changes in your cycle can indicate thyroid problems, PCOS, 
stress levels, or other health conditions. Track your cycle. It's valuable health data. Truth number two, period color tells you something. Bright red blood typically indicates a healthy flow. Dark brown blood is usually older blood, which is normal at the beginning or end of your cycle. Very pale or orange-tinted blood might indicate low estrogen or infections and warrants medical attention. Truth number three, your pain tolerance changes throughout your cycle. Due to hormonal fluctuations, your pain sensitivity actually varies during different phases of your cycle. You may notice you're more sensitive to pain right before your period starts. Truth number four, your cycle affects your entire body. Hormonal changes during your cycle affect your skin, hair, energy levels, sleep patterns, and even your cognitive function. Understanding these patterns can help you optimize your lifestyle and work schedule. Truth number five, ovulation pain is real. About 20% of women experience middle stress, pain during ovulation. This sharp pain on one side of your lower abdomen is completely normal and indicates healthy ovulation. Truth number six, your cervix changes during your cycle. Your cervix position, texture, and opening change during your cycle. Learning to recognize these changes can help you understand your fertility window and overall reproductive health. Truth number seven, stress can significantly impact your cycle. Chronic stress can delay ovulation, cause irregular periods, or even stop them completely. Your reproductive system is sensitive to physical and emotional stress. Truth number eight, birth control affects more than just pregnancy prevention. Hormonal birth control can affect your mood, libido, bone density, and even your partner preferences. Understanding these effects helps you make informed decisions about contraception. Truth number nine, perimenopause can start in your 30s. While the average age for menopause is 51, perimenopause, the transition period, can begin in your late 30s or early 40s. Irregular periods, mood changes, and other symptoms during this time are often dismissed as stress. Truth number 10, you can influence your period experience. Proper nutrition, regular exercise, stress management, and adequate sleep can significantly improve your menstrual experience. Magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamin D have been shown to reduce period symptoms. So as you can see, your menstrual cycle isn't just something to endure. It's a complex, important process that reflects your overall health. Understanding the facts versus the myths can help you make better decisions about your health and recognize when something might need medical attention. The key is always education and open communication with healthcare providers who take your concerns seriously. Your period should not control your life, and you deserve answers to your questions without shame or judgment. I hope this conversation was helpful and eye-opening. I'd genuinely like to know what you think. What was the most surprising myth or truth for you today? Leave a comment below and let's continue this important discussion together. If you found value in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Women's Health 360 for more straightforward, well-researched advice on women's health. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next conversation. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only and should not replace professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Every woman's body is different, and if you have concerns about your menstrual cycle or reproductive health, please consult with a qualified healthcare provider who can give you personalized guidance. Stay healthy, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video.